Okay, so now let's start evaluating. Okay, to evaluate without a calculator, you have to kind of understand logs. And if, you, if you're just learning them, you may want to rewrite into exponential form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this log base 4 of 64 and set it equal to x. So I'm creating an equation out of an expression, but it's just there to help me solve it. Now I'm going to rewrite. So now I rewrite it as 4 to the x power is equal to 64. And 4 to what power is 64? Well, x is 3 because 4 cubed is 64. So I know that log base 4 of 64 is just 3, and that simplifies. So a good way to think of it is 4 to what power gives me 64. So let's take this next one. I'm going to erase this for you so you don't have as much stuff on here. Ooh, whoops. Let's just clear the ink there. There we go. Okay, so let's rewrite this log base 16 of 2. So if I set this equal to x, I can rewrite this as 16 to the x power is equal to 2. Well, wow, I'm getting smaller here. So how do I take 16 to a power? What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 16 so it has the same base. So 16 can be written as a base 2 if we take uh, 2 and raise it to the fourth power. So 16 can be rewritten as 2 to the fourth, all to the x. So it's 2 to the 4x is equal to 2. Well, on this side, 2 is just to the first power, so I'm going to go ahead and write a 1 there. Well, once you have like bases, we know the exponents must be equal. So 4x equals 1, and so x must be 1 fourth. So in other words, this, the fourth root of 16 is 2, and that makes sense because 2 to the fourth power is 16. So the fourth root of 16 would then equal to 2. Okay, so anytime you have a root like that, you're actually getting smaller, therefore it's going to be a root. Okay. So let's look at the next one. We have a log of base one-third is equal to 81. So let's rewrite this. Set this equal to x. And let's rewrite that as log. I'm sorry. Not as a log. Let's rewrite it as an exponential. One-third to the power of x. And I'm going to treat that as a full quantity is equal to 81. Now, one-third is a little tricky, but I think I could write it with the base 3 because if I want the reciprocal of that, I just raise that to a negative 1. So that's 3 to the negative 1x or negative x. That equals 81, but I can also rewrite 81 as a base 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 is 81. So that's 3 to the fourth power. So I have negative 1x is equal to 4, so x is negative 4. So that means I can simplify log base 1 third of 81 just simply to 1 or negative, I'm sorry, what was our final answer? Negative 4. Why negative 4? Negative means a reciprocal, so I would take one-third and find its reciprocal, and then I would raise it to the fourth power. So a negative exponent only means a reciprocal. That's all it means. It doesn't mean my term is negative. Sorry, I'm trying to clear the screen. There we go. Okay, so let's look at this next one. We have log base 3 of one-ninth. Hopefully you're getting the hang of it. I set it equal to x. Then I take 3 to the x is equal to 1 ninth. Ask yourself, can I write like bases? In this case, we can. So 3 is already a good base, and I can rewrite 9 or 1 ninth as 3 to the, okay, second power, but it's the reciprocal, so it's the negative second. So that means x 
is negative 2. So that means I simplify 3 log, uh, log base 3 of 1 ninth. That's just equal to negative 2. It's the reciprocal because 1 third or a 3 to 1 ninth is, would be a reciprocal. So it's negative and then 3 squared is 9. Okay, now let's look at the last couple here. There we go. Now, on this one, if you have a base and a log with the same base, you are going to simplify it just to 3x. So when I have an x, a base of 10 and a log base 10, because when we don't have a base on a log, it's just 10. It's assumed to be 10. So this will give you 3x. And that it's really that simple. It's just 3x. But I'm going to show you why that's true. So let's take log or t base 10 to the exponent of log of 3x. Now remember, this is an exponential form. Even though there's a log in the exponent, it's still an exponential form. I have a base, I have an exponent, and I'm going to set it equal to y because I already have an x in the equation, so I don't want to set it for equal to x because then that would get confusing. So now I'm going to solve for y. Now, in order to do that, I need to take the log of both. I need to change log form. So I'm going to change this to log form by taking log. And of course, my base is 10 of y is equal to my exponent. Well, my exponent is the whole thing. It's that log of 3x. When we don't have a base, it's 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and write it in there so you can see it. Well, do you see? This is log base 10, that's log base 10 of y of 3x. So basically, y has to be 3x. So it just simplifies to 3 at just the 3x. So anytime you have a base raised to the exponent, a log of the same base, whatever you have here, that ends up being the solution, what it simplifies to. Okay, so now let's look at this last one in this group. Working, we're looking at log base 8 of 4. Okay, let's set it equal to x so we can rewrite it. So 8 to the x is equual to 4. Well, you got to stop and think, how can I rewrite 4 so it's a, to a power that will be 8? And there's not any value. I can't because 4 to the first is 4, 4 to the second is 16. I never hit 8. But I can rewrite these both to a base 2. So I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. Well, 2 cubed all to the x power is really just 2 to the 3x. And that's going to equal 2, and I can rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So now I've got my bases matching. Well, once my base is matched, don't I know? Oh, the exponents have to be equal then. So I'm going to set 3x equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 thirds. And there's my answer. So you're always trying to get like bases. And that's how you simplify logarithms without a calculator.